Hello recruits and welcome to Ashton Academy 305 Achievements 2. Before we get into today's course, I want to assure you that the fiasco from the last achievements course will not be repeated. I'm talking about the rather unfortunate hack that occurred which allowed someone to hijack our courses for the day. We've hardened our security to ensure that this type of thing cannot happen. Am I in? I'm in again? No way! Yes! God, this time was a lot harder than the last. They've upgraded their systems quite a bit. Anywho, what's up again, all of you Pop-Tarts, and welcome to Ashenier Academy 305, Achievements 2. Last semester, we discussed the first 19 achievements available for an Ashenier. Of course, we're talking about the official achievements sanctioned by Excel Dynamics, not the side adventures we all embark upon for our own personal sense of achievement. So while your 100 resin tower is really impressive and I'm pretty jealous of it, that is not the type of achievement we're going to be looking at today. So let's get started quickly because I feel like I have less time in here than I had the last time. 1. Pursuit of Knowledge You probably unlocked this achievement a long, long time ago because we talked all about research in Ashtonier Academy 104. All that is required here is to research an item in the research chamber. 2. A little bite goes a long way. This one follows the same general idea as the last one, only this time you simply need to scan a research sample of any type to unlock this achievement. Pretty simple so far. 3. Dirt don't hurt. Grab a small canister, fill it with some stuff, then attach that stuff to a soil centrifuge. Now pick your favorite resource and mash that big green button. You have just unlocked today's third achievement. 4. Do science to it. You'll need a chemistry lab and some resources for this one. If you're a bit rusty on your chemistry like I always am, you can head back to Ashtonier Academy 106 for a quick review. But to unlock this achievement, you need to synthesize a composite material with the chemistry lab. 5. A little gassy. This achievement has nothing to do with eating beans too often. No, instead you'll need an atmospheric condenser and then use it to collect any gas on any planet. <laughs> gas. 6. Sweet new ride. Here's another easy one, and an achievement that brings added mobility. Simply build a rover of any type. The medium or large rover will do it, but you should also get credit for your efforts with a tractor or buggy as well. 7. Scrap for the scrapper. It's time to take out some trash while earning this achievement. Simply shred any object in any shredder. You can shred anything, really. Well, except for your fellow astroneers. That won't count, sadly. But everything else is fair game, and you'll earn some scrap to help you with the next achievement as well. 8. Junk Trader. Take the scrap you created in the previous achievement and use the trade platform to exchange that scrap for another resource. Pick any resource you'd like, it really doesn't matter. If you need a refresher on all things scrap related, be sure to check out Ashenier Academy 202. 9. Barrier Buster. In Ashenier Academy 105, we discussed the various drill mods you can use with your terrain tool. Simply craft any one of those drill mods, attach it to your terrain tool, then go deform hard terrain. Those mountains on Silva would probably be an excellent place to unlock this one. 10. Delve greedily and deep. This achievement has nothing to do with hobbits or mining. Wait, y you don't get the reference? Not a Tolkien fan? Okay, well, moving on. To unlock this achievement, simply travel to the mantle depth of any planet. We did this recently, actually, in Astronaut Academy 303 if you need a review. Now that you've unlocked this achievement, please go become a true nerd and read some Tolkien. 11. Making a new friend. If Bob Ross has taught us anything, it's that happy little trees can be our friends. For you to make a new friend as an Ashtoneer, simply plant a seed from any hazard you may have dug up. And if, once it's fully grown, it attacks you, remember, that's how hazards show they love you. And you should love them back, because that's how it works. 12. Thank you for your continued assistance. The Exxon Dynamic Research Aid appears in three varieties. Find one and open it up by supply power, charging its internal power, or feeding it a resource you had planned to use for something. You unlock an achievement and get some research bites. You are winning, dude. 13. Lab Rat. Use the chemistry lab to synthesize all 12 composite materials. Easier said than done, but at least no animals are harmed in the creation of this achievement. We covered all 12 of them in Ashtonier Academy 106, so uh, head there if you need help with this one. 14. Gas Giant. It's time to make friends with Aatrox, because this is where you can find the largest number of gases in the solar system. To unlock this achievement, you need to use the atmospheric condenser to collect every single type of gas. As much as I despise Aatrox's existence, it's kinda useful for this. 15. Chop Shop. Scrap 50 objects in a shredder. Easy mode. To make it more fun, use dynamite to blow up stuff and shred the resulting debris, because explosives are fun. Who doesn't like explosives? 
16, in an Ashenier's garden. Okay, so we've talked about gardening twice already at Ashenier Academy, in 102 and 304, I think. And here it is again. To obtain this achievement, plant at least one of every type of the following seed. Spine lily, lash leaf, bounce vine, wheeze weed, thistle whip, pop coral, and dagger root. 17. Resources in the rough. There are 15 different natural resources in this game, and you need to use your terrain tool to collect at least one of each for this achievement. No soil centrifuges or trade platforms for this one, sadly. Nine of the resources can be found on any planet, while the other six will require traveling to different ones. If you need help, then go review Ashenier Academy 104, because I honestly am pretty rusty at which materials are where. 18. They who smelt it. Seriously, don't blame the dog. Oh wait, smelt, not smelled. Yeah, um, okay. Uh, to unlock this achievement, just use the smelter to craft all nine refined resources. Easy enough. 19. Research Scientist. Nobody said it was easy, but you need to gain 100,000 bites across all games. Maybe head into the deep mantle layer of Aatrox to get some watermelons from under duck bruts. If that sentence made no sense, well, uh, this is a duck. I know it looks like a rock formation, but trust me, it's a duck. And this is a watermelon. Again, yeah, it looks like some rocks, but trust me, dude, it's a watermelon. And it's worth over 14,000 bites, so you're going to want to collect that watermelon. And with all those bites, you will be able to answer the questions of science, science, and progress. No Coldplay fans out there? Really? None? Okay, well, moving on. That is 19 more achievements knocked out, meaning you should now be able to easily complete 38 of the 56 achievements in your quest to prove you're one of the best astroneers ever. Our next achievements course, Astroneer Academy 405, will dive into the remaining 18 achievements along with a ton of suits, pallets, and visors that you can unlock at the same time. But that is still several weeks away. Next week, we'll be taking a look at automation and how it allows you to become lazy and fat while your base practically runs itself. Can't wait for that. Until then, I've been your totally qualified and knowledgeable instructor for the second time ever, and I have to get out of here, like, now, because they tried to knock me off the air at least two times during this lesson, but I ignored it to try and keep my composure. Bye! And again. Oh, wait, he just did it again, didn't he? Well, I have to give him credit. He's managed to infiltrate our systems twice now. So I guess that means you should go check out Please Shive on both Twitch and YouTube. Both of those links are in the description down below. Not only does he complete his mission as an astroneer in record time during his speed runs, but he also features a ton of different content. Two weeks from now, we'll be taking some time to talk to both Please Shived and Captain Space Toaster about speedrunning and the speedrunning community. So check him out and hit those follow and subscribe buttons on his channels. But let me assure you, we are going to work with Exodynamics to harden our security to ensure that by the time our final achievement course airs, Please Shive will stand no chance of being able to hack in. Next week, we'll be taking a look at all things automation and talking a bit about Exodynamics future plans surrounded this much anticipated topic. And until then, I'm Brandon, reminding you to stay vainglorious.